Hey guys and gals, and welcome to Let's Play Dishonored. And joining me, I have the lovely... A Plus Gamer. How are you doing today? Pretty good yourself. Um, I'm pretty good, I can't complain. I mean, we're playing Dishonored, and it's a fantastic game in my opinion. So, have you played much of it? Uh, managed to play a little bit of it. Uh, my attempt at a stealth play th playthrough is not going well at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't lend itself to being a stealth game at all. But fortunately, hopefully this this uh, Let's Play will show you what you need to do, because I have decided to go for a stealth Let's Play. Oh, this should be interesting. Oh, yes. I think there's only one frustrating part, anyway, uh, right at the beginning. Aside from that, the whole game is fairly simple as long as you know what to do. Once you get your powers, yeah. Yes. I know my attempt at a stealth playthrough went like this. I'm going to sneak past this first guard. No, nope, he saw me. Well, there goes that. Yeah, for me, it was more like, um, let's try and sneak past this first guard, incapacitate him, and then everybody else came charging at me. Yes, that's actually a bit more like it. You have just returned from a journey of several months, visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand! That's it. Watch it! Cast off line! Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress that we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. All the other Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months, that's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat play. Yeah, it's incredibly suspicious that he recommended that the personal bodyguard of the Empress is sent away. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that too, but... The, the moment I saw that, I'm just like, no, no, something's wrong. How can nobody else see this but me? Corvo, you're a fool for trusting him. I have to say, I love the art style in the game. The, 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 the sort of steampunk cross with Victorian, very yes. nice. I'm always happy to see steampunk. But, um, I, to be honest, at first I was a little iffy about the game because I'd only seen a few trailers of the game and it may have a lot more of a realistic style to it. It was still steampunk, but more realistic. So when I first played the game, I was just like, uh, what's, what's this? This isn't, this isn't what I was expecting. But I soon, I soon grew to love it. It's been good traveling with yeah. you, Corvo. You know what to do next time? Yes. I see you're yes. playing, on the, uh, playing this on the 360. All these yes, I am. Um, mainly... I mostly operate on a 360, just because um, I have a PC that's being built, but it's having a few issues and I just don't have the time to actually sort those issues out. And then there aren't that many games on the Mac. Oh, you're back. I completely understand there. <laughs> Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Well, uh, we saw a whale outside being hauled off on a ship, <laughs> if that counts. I'm curious to see how you do hiding against her. Um, why? Did you not- did you not succeed? Okay. Oh, I there did. I'm just curious how you did it. Uh, if, if there was a way that you're supposed to do, my, my way was actually well, really gone, lazy. Very sad. Oh, uh, I tend to do the same thing every time because I've- this will be the third time I've played this game. The first time I screwed up so badly, I got the worst possible ending you can get. And then the second time I did completely stealth. Um, but 
from the first time I tried this, I hid in one spot and it just worked, so I do it every time. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Good luck. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. I know you're not going to find me. Press B to enter stealth mode. This is going to be very helpful throughout the game, especially if you if you don't want to go around killing everybody. One, two, three, four. Is this where you get? Is this where you went? No, actually, I hid behind the tree. Huh, interesting. No, I know she doesn't even come close to looking up here. No, um, but she goes the other way. I actually try to get a glimpse of her. She looks behind one of the barricades, walks a little into the open, and then gives up. I always find you. <laughs> no, you don't. You've never found me. No, I hide behind that tree you can just see in the side of the, the shop there. Yes, the white one on the left. Yeah. Look, she's just gonna give up in a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, you win. You she actually took like two money. minutes on my copy of the game for whatever reason. Wow, that's weird. Could you even could you see her from uh from your hiding spot at all? Let's go. Uh I couldn't. She she walked over this way. Huh. Like she went halfway up the stairs and then she kinda of come back and then says, Yeah, okay, you weren't in the one direction I searched. I give up now. <laughs> I, I wonder if the game just gives this one to you and says she doesn't find you. Might be, but maybe it's just yeah, just to teach you the mechanic. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Why, thank you. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. I've been traveling the world getting a suntan. To beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will Yeah, this guy is certainly not a bad city. guy. Now keep still a moment, Tyler. <laughs> Which one? I mean, for one thing, he's the only guy in you know in this whole environment here that happens really to be wearing so sure color. That painting looks like Campbell. <laughs> happens to be red. Yeah. And, and he's bald, so he's going for the Lex Luthor look. To the water lock. And um, painting, getting himself painted look uh, with, with this Napoleonic. Oh. Did you, um, did you grab that brandy on the I left of him? Did. He says, the painter says the funniest thing. Sokolov. Yes. But unfortunately, I think it gets, I think it gets cut off because of, uh... What are you doing? I need... I needed that bottle to distract the viewer from his ugly face. Yeah. <laughs> well, you ain't wrong there, Sokolov. Mm, she'll see you at once. <clears throat> If I'm the personal bodyguard, doesn't that make me all of the guards' people, bosses or boss singular? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't think so. Actually, I, I would think the bodyguard are separate from the military. It depends if it depends if they're the military or if they're also personal guards, like uh, unique to the palace. I suppose. No, I'd have to. I'd have to say that they're the military because you you, you see them. Mm. I know. I agree with you. I, a fair bit, so. I agree with you that they are the military, but if it were like unique to the palace and whatnot, Corvo is kind of the secret service. I would think. <laughs> the personal the aid that brings you home to me. Yeah. What news have you brought? I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're the first the time I, the first time I went through this, I kept thinking the ship was going to do Cowards. something. They're well, like blow up. Us. They'll wait to see. Blow up, or somebody was going to fire a cannonball at her, or something like that. <laughs> I'm I'm focusing on that car because you don't really get to see that in use, and it's wait, where are the guards? And it was the first time I'd noticed it actually. <gasps> where are the guards? Where have they gone? See, I didn't even notice that until the guy appeared right there. I didn't notice him on the roof at all. Oh, interesting. Oh, and I, I missed at point-blank range. Things are not looking good. And then I screw up blocking as well. But fortunately for me, because this is going to be a stealthy LP, I shouldn't need to block too much. Shouldn't. Look out! Uh... I'm actually a little 
curious how you mess up locking. <laughs> Uh, for me, I, I, it's not a time thing, I just, just hold in the button. Um, if you do it at the right moment, it knocks them back. Yeah. Which is what I was trying to go for. Oh, okay, so you're trying to show off. <laughs> Which, i It's the funniest thing, if you do it off camera, you can do it perfectly every time. As soon as the camera's on, be in for Isn't a world of hurt. That's the truth. Hey, I'm amazing at this game. I should record it. I suck at this game. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Oh, now they show up. You know, one, if you opened your quiet yap for one second here, you could stop all this. No, I didn't. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? I made her, her vanish at the snap of my fingers. Ironic. I'll see you be because I can completely do that, you know. Peg him. When, as soon as it went into slow motion, I swear I thought I was going to be able to block it, and then I'd escape from the guards or something. But no, I, I got punched in the face. Kind, save your game often. Oh yes, that's the reason I kept this in this loading screen and I edit out all of the other ones I wanted to remember save your game often especially yeah, I if there. yeah I it's... found the quick save button on the PC and I've been using it ever since <laughs> yeah it is incredibly useful if you're doing a stealth run but if you're not doing a stealth run then it doesn't matter just butcher everybody in your path by all means this is your final chance go Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Except you know the guard standing right yes, beside you. Tomorrow you'll be. Have you noticed executed. they're both bald? But it's for a good cause. Yes. This country needs. Are they trying to say something about now, bald people? Something to guide the weak, and that's where we. I think it's already been said. <laughs> there was never trusting person. a bald person ever again. Even though you almost sank our plans, but it turned uh, out. What's well. his face? Yeah. You Lex Luthor. These guys, Howie Mandel, never trust a bald guy. No, never. I mean, you just know on Deal or No Deal that Howie Mandel is out to screw you. <laughs> and it's because he's bald, it's the evil gene. It's, it's inbred. There's a correlation between evil and baldness. Did you just say Howie Mandel was inbred? What? No? Okay, I heard you say inbred. I said, like, it, it's in the, is a sign of inbreeding. <laughs> Evil is in the genes, is what I was implying. Okay, fair enough. Corvo! Baked a cake. Who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river, and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell, and good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. A friend. Friends bake cakes. They do. I break my friend's cheesecake. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a pretty awesome friend. <laughs> Okay, now this is the most frustrating stealthy bit of the entire game. It's on account of Corvo. Here you go. Uh, teaching you how to knock somebody out, or if you want to kill them, you know. And it also teaches you the consequences of your actions. Abducted her daughter, Emily. Do these count towards a stealth playthrough? Right. Um, Social event for the high and mighty. How do you mean? Come see the I mean, protector, get his head do these deaths off. count against you? Because I can't because see any way you're going to get out of this without killing these guys. It's This is all about timing, and I tried this several times. You have to take out the first two people first, and then wait for that third one. You can't do them one after the other. I've tried it several times. I'm sure if you hurry the hell up, then there's a good chance. But this is your this is the safest bet. 
Ah. And you you do need to hide the bodies, otherwise they're going to go on alert. Well, that I can understand, but for whatever reason, I did this, and then they heard me with the body. I'm kind of like, well, crap, that didn't last long. Um, I do know if you're not quick enough, that second guy I knocked out will turn around and spot you. That could be it, because I kind of took, took a moment to observe. Okay, let's knock this guy out. And of course, once you knock him out and then you carry him, you automatically pick up uh, whatever it is he's holding. Which is a useful tip. So if you're in a hurry, then you don't need to worry about picking up spare change. And money is very useful in this game. Yes. Runes, however, um, I'm going to go ahead and say right now that I'm not going to be going after every single rune because, well, you don't need it when you're doing a stealth playthrough. A, you're going to be going out of your way to get them a lot of the time, so it makes things harder on you, and B, you, you literally don't need them for the upgrades you need for a stealth playthrough. Well, yeah, half the power-ups are dedicated to killing people. Mm. And I don't know why I'm picking up bullets, to be honest just in case things go horribly wrong, or if there's a bad recording and I feel like killing oh, everybody. Is anyone? <laughs> in which case I might put that in the bloopers. But it hasn't happened yet. And of course, if you leave the bodies out in the open down there, that's the area you just came from, if you leave them yep. out in the open, he will go running down and he'll be on alert. Right. So if you're trying to go for um, not alerting any guards, that's an important tip to remember. But for now, I'm just trying to um, I'm just trying to get through without any kills, basically. So you can I can alert some guards, but I'm not I'm not killing anybody. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was close. That was close. I freaked out for a second because I was worried I was going to have to do that bit again. And looking left and right just to make sure nobody will spot me if I uh, knock this guy out. One interesting thing I noticed, and I picked it up from one of the cutscenes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're leaning, the guards actually can't see you. Um, it, it will say that very soon, that the guards shouldn't be able to see you. Unless they're at a point where they could see you even if you weren't leaning. Yeah. But yeah, if you're leaning out, then technically the guards can't see you. Reminds me of an old PlayStation game, Tomorrow Never Dies. You could walk right up to a guard uh, and basically moon the guard, and the guard wouldn't care. But if you so much as leaned out, every guard in the area was alerted. Um, I'm going to say definitely close that door, um, because I know there will be guards outside later. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than in two men we've brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Sign the confession for her murder. It's in critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. No. So why'd you do it? Judy officers report Corvo's interrogation. Corvo Otano, formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought, for, brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves, follow their orders without hesitation, and keep the torturer under control. If Corvo dies in his hands, instead of getting the public execution the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. Let's See, suck. one thing I don't get about this is you have them outright saying they killed the Empress. And you don't take I any of this. Just take that card out of the audio graph machine. Hmm, it is interesting. And why would they... The, 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 safe was, the safe was left open. The safe was left open, open with explosives in it. Then again, I guess it could have been left open by one of the guards. Okay, now be careful here. Look through the door because... See? Guard. Yep. I caught that by complete surprise, actually. That's why I closed the door earlier. And here's where we learn about leaning. So, leaning left, and they wouldn't be able to see me if they if they turned around. Anyway, um, if you're quick through this bit, then, well, quick and careful, you won't actually need to knock anybody out. You can just sneak past them completely. I did manage to pull this part off. The first time I did it, I, um, I, I knocked them out, just to be safe, which... 
I thought seemed fairly reasonable to me. And of course, because this is a stealth walkthrough, you're gonna get me being very careful a lot of the time. Understandable. Alright, and let's quickly head up the stairs. Now this next bit is gonna be um, quite tricky. Yeah, this this is one of the first areas. I thought one of the guards wouldn't notice me if I pressed up beside the corner. Uh, that corner that's almost straight ahead there. Um, and said he looked right at me. Ooh, yeah, he his uh, positioning is right there. He'll stop right there. But yep. what we, what you want to do is head over to that window because there's a crack in it, and you can just hop hop on through and knock the guy out. Uh, not not this one, as I as I seem to have problems with. This one is open. Yeah. And then the guy on the outside won't even notice you. Of course, I still, I still feel like moving him in case he comes up to the window and looks in. Understandable. Like I say, I'm being very careful with this playthrough. Attention. Solitary Unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. And then you should be able to just open this and knock this guy out. <laughs> the great thing about a stealth playthrough as well means that you're saving a lot of money on ammunition. Yeah. I haven't I, actually to buy ammunition yet, so... Mm, yeah. You'll be able to buy ammunition once you get to the Hound Pits, which is... Uh, we'll come to that bit later. Oh no, I can buy it, I just haven't needed it. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you... The only reason you need ammunition is for your crossbow later on, uh, which has sleeping darts. Absolutely. Those will become highly invaluable at points in the game. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out a good position to knock this guy out because um, I'm I'm going to need to be out in the open in a second, and he will probably spot me. Actually, that other window is shattered too. On the you left. Jump. Yep. Yeah. That is where I'm going. Ah. <laughs> That's actually where I first found out that the windows were shattered. I completely knocked everybody else at, out. I managed to get past this guy without using the window on the other side. Hmm. And without being seen, and then jumped in the window and took care of the took care of the the guard by the uh, door handle. Mm, it my... was not easy. <laughs> I I know I've done the same thing, and this is my astonishment realizing, hey, I can go under the desk. Right. So there are two people in this next room, and this is actually where I almost get busted. As you'll see very carefully. The guard at the top is the one you want to worry about. The one at the bottom, easy enough. You, he stays there, you take care of him. But that guy, you have kind of two narrow opportunities to knock this one out. And I'm about to balls this one up because I went in too late. As soon as you see, see, he's in the top left. He's in the top left. Now, can they wake up from being knocked out? No, they cannot. Okay. Apparently you, uh, you really choke him out. And this is where I've learnt. And he's got two out of three on his alert meter. Once yeah. it hits three, he's gonna come chasing after you. Or at least he's gonna come looking for you. Down to one. And then... What I'm gonna do is go into this little safe spot here. Unfortunately, this is where you viewers are going to have to wait a little bit. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Ermagerd. Now, if he was smart, you'd think that he'd trust what he just saw and walk right <laughs> over and be like, Hey, I saw someone doing push-ups on this rail. Nah, it turns out uh, he's been drinking on the job. Or he's been smoking weed. Something, something along those lines. Maybe a bit of both. Well, I guess, you know, I guess you got to do something to pass the time. I mean, especially no, considering no. that the entire prison is apparently built to guard you and only you. <laughs> well, you do come across other prisoners, but I think there were like two of them that I saw. Yeah, most of the cells are empty. And even then you can't break them out. 
I would have loved to have broken them out just to cause a distraction. That would have made sense to me. It's like, hmm, you know what? I need a distraction. Okay, how about this? I won't kill anybody, but I'm not going to say anything about Jimbo over here. <laughs> but the problem, then again, is that you want fewer bodies in general because the bodies are what the rats feed on. So, hence the darker ending. But there are different ways of looking at the darker ending because you're going to be providing an example for Emily at the same time. Now, moving this guy to hide him isn't actually necessary, but I'd forgotten what was on the other side of this door, so I thought, just in case, I would hide him. And then, I'm gonna close this door, for no apparent reason. Uh, I... Where, whereas I left a couple of the guards alive, mm. I think even the guards in the, court, in the courtyard will come running. Okay, now, run. Run, 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 run. Even here you want to run because, well, actually, no, you don't really need to run, but it feels more dramatic and more genuine that way, I suppose. And I didn't realize they could actually probably hit you. Oh, yes, I got shot. Oh, you did. I've never been shot, but those bullets but have, were the closest that they've ever come to me. Of course, I ran down the side path and, you know, took a casual stroll to the water. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So pretty soon we're about to see what the rats can really do to people. Some kind of explosive yeah. to blast his way out. That doesn't happen by accident. Read note. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked, and you're bro you've broken free from Coldridge. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel where these tunnels dump out into the river. He'll bring you to us, a friend who you will meet soon, or who will meet you soon. Dun dun dum. Why couldn't they just put the weapons tracks. there? Could be some down here by the look of it. Okay. Hey, if we're lucky. You ready to see this? Yep. Those rats will do that to you, by the way. Oh, yes. If you're not careful. And I, that note I wanted to keep looking just to show how gruesome it can actually get. Even with the art style, it's still pretty brutal. But for now, we won't have to worry about that. Uh, th those are the rats that actually... They didn't kill me with... The, they were the first rats that actually had to do some damage to me. Ah... Well, you can jump into the water straight away, and then they can't get you, or you can sprint like I did. Yeah, no, I actually walked in front of the corpse, and I looked more tasty. Mmm, because you're fresh meat. Excuse me, sir. And then I spotted something over here, which which was flashing, and then... I have Ushiny Syndrome, so I'm easily distracted. Oh, you didn't cut the corpse off? I actually used my sword and sliced him, sliced him free of his hand. Amanda and I only had enough coin to buy half the elixir we needed. Even that's all gone now, and there's nothing to do but wait. We're very sick, and there's no place above to hide from the city watch. They're breaking into houses all over the district, so we'll stay here and share the last hours together. Our fire will keep the rats away, but they'll inherit this city. Damien. That's kind of sad. That's really yeah. sad. Even with the corpses like that, that's really freaking sad. Actually, this, I've noticed a fair bit of that. It... it I can't, I, there's only so many times I can use sad, it makes me sad. No, uh, with, with the guy that was hanging on to that, uh, you can actually use your sword to cut him off the handle. Ah, oh, nice. No, I, I was a little bit more dignified with the bodies. Respectful, I should say. Um, I keep looking around for things that are useful, as you do in these sorts of games. Considering it's open world, you kind of have to a lot of the time, especially when you'll find a lot of useful things. Okay, the trick is, this is a very simple puzzle. You want to use the rats, uh, well, not the rats, you want to use these bodies as a distraction uh, to keep the rats away from you while you try and turn that wheel. What was that about treating the corpses dignified again? I'm, ha I'm throwing them down gently-ish. To the rats? To the rats. Well, 
This is a matter of survival, it's me or them. I have had a few moments where the rats have been biting at me instead of the corpses. Um, what I actually did was I used the rats, I used the corpses to lead the rats all the way around to the other side. Uh, I just threw all of them down. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once. You cannot kill the rat plague. Okay, now there are a few booby traps here, which I almost didn't notice because I'm just... Ooh, body. Looking around at different things, like that body. And... Oh! Ah, there's a tripwire there. There certainly is. Uh, one of the ways you... There are a few tripwires in this area. And a few little secret areas. Um, one of the things you can do is jump up here. Now, so there's that. That's um, incendiary bolt launcher. And then, over here, we're about to see another one. As soon as I finish looting everything. Ta-da! And straight ahead, there is this tripwire. Not to mention that by doing that, you get its bolt, so... Yes, but I have no intention of really using that. Great distraction. That's true. And then, here we have disarmed the other one. And gotten some money in the process, which... Helpful. Very helpful. Yes, I, I am looking for anything that could possibly help me. I was even tempted to jump down and try and loot that body. I'm surprised you didn't, although I don't, I don't know if there's anything on it or not. Mm. Also, I was a little worried about getting back up. I'm sure you could, otherwise they wouldn't let you jump down there. Yeah. Otherwise you'd be pretty screwed. Greetings, Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector? As you were known before, that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and of the true Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, crafted for you of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet, and meet with our man Samuel, near where these tunnels spill into Renhaven River. All haste and luck. We share a common purpose. Ooh. What a nice thing could have given us that before. I know. It's... Then again, I guess it's hard to break to to break to bake these into a cake. You could have baked the sword into a cake, though. I mean, if they can sneak explosives into the prison, you think they could just leave the crossbow in the safe? Hmm. True. Maybe the explosives were already there, though. That's what I figured. Mm, I don't know. I don't know why. Cake. <laughs> Pointy. Old B to slide. No, I'm just gonna break this. I actually slid under it. It's not that hard. No, it's really easy. You slide I like Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what it is about Corvo's slide, but once you once he starts sliding, he just kind of keeps going. I know what you mean, Jelly. In case you're too daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey? Eh? Get it? If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not. I'll come back for it next month. And it's really simple. Look to the whiskey. It could not be simpler. I, I was just having a bit of fun there. So, 451. It's basically teaching you the dynamics of opening a safe. Safe, safe mechanics, yeah. And sometimes, I don't know about the PC, but on the Xbox, sometimes... Uh, lining up your, uh, reticule can be a bit of a pain in the ass. PC never had that issue. No, I, I didn't figure it would. You, I think, yeah, you missed the copper wire behind you. Oh, my bad. He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. <laughs> Knock something over if you can. Bastard. How did he not hear that? 
I'm sure you can use that bottle as a distraction if you want. I think it was actually there for you to accidentally knock off the platform if you weren't careful. Mm, I was trying to be careful so that didn't happen, just in case. It's never happened to me, but just in case. And of course you're gonna get something very dignified in a second. Soldiers peeing into the water. I was tempted to shoot him here and there, just to give him a dignified knockout, but I think if he fell into the water he'd die. Exactly what part of, yeah, shooting him in the crotch would be dignified. Oh, sarcasm. And... There we go. Now, in this bit you don't actually need to knock anybody out or shoot anybody, which is fortunate. Because them bolts don't come cheap. Well, actually they kind of do, but it's not the point. Yeah. Ninja, not Rambo. Even if you are only knocking them out. Plus, you only have three to work with. So, at this point, they're only... In my eyes, they're only used for emergencies. Which is why I had it out. And I know there's a soldier nearby. I'm just making sure that um, he wouldn't be able to see me when I jump down. You came very close to him actually noticing you. Yes. And I felt, I was just, okay, need to hurry, need to hurry. Ooh, loot. I hope he doesn't turn <laughs> around. Shinies! Ooh, shiny, but still useful. Uh, I think the city guards are going with this all wrong. What they should do is they should just create a string of random objects in the, in the street. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. shiny. Ooh, shiny. And then Ooh, just shiny. Dead. Just, just have a giant box with a stick and a string waiting yep, for you to exactly. come underneath. James Wood style. <laughs> over here. You must be Samuel. Quickly. I'm a friend. I'm Samuel. I knew and it. I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. All right. Let's. I feel what? Why would you call him old man? He's told you his name, and it's kind of disrespectful to call him old man. Yeah. So as you can see, we didn't quite get ghost because um, yeah, somebody somebody found one of your bodies. Um, probably the uh, guy you knocked out after the drop. I'd probably say I got noticed from me climbing up and then him spotting me. This is the Hound Pit. I didn't think he spotted you though. Well, not technically spotted, just. He got alerted. I've noticed that even if you aren't spotted, but if you alert a guard, then it's kind of, uh, it kind of counts. At least from my experience of playing the game. And yes, I am fascinated by that tower. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Love the music in this game, too. Mm, it is fantastic. Overall, a great game. Although, a little harsh on the endings. If anyone can help you find that missing girl... Please tell me, I, guess, I, I don't spoil it, but... Um, is it Bioshock harsh, where basically one ending, you're... Okay. A saint, the other hand, your... Er, your uh, Ernst Blofeld from the Bond movies will take over the world? Very similar. There are three endings. Oh, boy. Two of them are kind of bad, and one's good. Anyway, that's pretty much all we have time for. We are ending here at the Hound Pits, which is going to be our base of operations. I've been Obsessed Games. And I'm Plus Gamer. Here on Gamers Embassy, and we hope to see you next time. Have an awesome day. Have a good one, guys. Have a good night. Adios.